What's going down, everyone? Right now, one of the most popular things that's being barked around the world is Doge. I don't need to go into a long gambit of musky combats. I nearly need to teach you how to mine this simply, very fast and safely in a nice fashion and be able to operably combat a few things that you may hit along the way. My name's Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 the channel, and for my community members that did vote, cheers, I appreciate it, and for the tech community members, there's something special coming right after this. So let's go ahead and hop into it. You see I have the doge above, so let's doge down, shall we? So, on the game everyone's playing, who wants to be a dogeonaire? At this point in time, what we're gonna go to is the site. You can download it for a lot of Operation OS's. For the majority of people we'll be downloading is the Windows. It's the most popular OS, but there are other ones. Linux, Apples, there's tons of them. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and select your 64. It's gonna go ahead and download, and bam, that's gonna be your wallet. On the top of that situation, there's going to be a few other things that we're going to clear. This is not sponsored by Nord. You can utilize any VPN you want. One of the things that I like to say is at least utilize some safety. So click a nice VPN on top of high there, and you're going to be a nice camper when you're downloading stuff. So once you already get the Doge wallet, what you're going to want to do is go to the download folder. With step one being accomplished, we're going to go ahead and run this as an administrator. We're going to set up our wallet. It's going to be very simple and set up. Now, I might ask you a few details for as far as running through. We're going to let it go through. Make sure you have the available space. It's literally 44 megabytes. Not too bad. You're going to go ahead and design that core for that situation. And once that's done and set up, some may take a little bit longer than other ones. You're going to go ahead and run that. And we're gonna be looking at some very valuable things. Now the situation, you don't wanna customize it just directly, you can if you want. I'd say go ahead and hit your default, it's gonna load in. You're gonna go ahead and just allow it directly. And it's gonna start setting up. Now you have the Doge wallet, but it's not mining. Nothing's going to the wallet. It's synchronizing the header, which is gonna take a second. And one of the core things you can do is select on top of there and click this back and forth. The header right over here will appear once you collect all the blockchain, which is gonna take a good second. But because of miners and people like yourself that are very curious about this, you're going to get a chance to actually do this in an exponential way. When bit rates of Bitcoin took off back in like, what was it? The early 2000s, there was a rush of stuff collection. So it's a cause of mining and an equilibrium of the build of what is left on the market. So you're mining, it's almost like gold in the ground back in the day. It's kind of fun and cool to be part of this like really interesting digital gold rush. Uh, but that's that portion in excitement because I don't want to draw everyone's attention down to a bore with talking too much. Let's go ahead and get to the next step. Now with your VPN active, go back online and I'll have these linked down below of everything with the wallet, the miner, which we're at right now, and we're gonna download directly. Just go ahead and save that. Now sometimes it may initialize and later on, you'll see this situation where it says discard, don't. You're just gonna go ahead and click it this portion time in order to activate it. You can kind of go to show all, it gives you a little bit more of a better feature and then you can remove it or you can keep the dangerous folder. It's not a dangerous folder. Unfortunately, just like back in the day when you had a pickaxe in hand and you were mining stuff, there was dangerous stuff around there. There can be viruses, but as long as you're safe and as long as you're being aware of what you have, make up backup so like frequently, you should be fine, play it safe. Life is all about safety. It's not a guessing game in that situation. It's fun when everything is running safe. But getting past that portion, since we have the folder we need. You can see now that there is an extracted folder. Now I moved it conveniently over here and we're gonna extract it out yet again and we're gonna run it. Now you can kind of see that I already have one folder and that's my other one. I'm gonna move that right over there so it doesn't conflict with what we're about to do. Now with everything closing down, make it a little bit more simpler. We're gonna go over here and hit extract all. Once you get to the extract all, you're gonna go ahead and let it do its thing. Not too long. You'll end up to a more cooler portion. Now we're gonna open this up and this is where it becomes a little technical, but super easy. If a guy like me can do this, so can you, anyone can. It's super freaking simple. So with that in mind, and now we're here, we're gonna go ahead and hit our edit. Now we're gonna see where it says a huge line of coins and all this other zero, zero, whatever, blah, blah, blah. This is the most important part. Right there you have where I see your Dogecoin and you have your worker rig where you can name it. 
after in succession, where it's basically going directly on top of this. Now, this is at a situational point where you can add what you need from the Doge wallet. So what you're going to go is much receive. At that portion in time, once you close this, because sometimes this can come up in this header, you'll be confused. Oh, where am I? You're going to go to request payment. You're going to go ahead and copy this situation. And it does says copy the URL, copy the address. You basically are going to want to copy that situation down, but it's just the address. All that conflict is very simple by many ways. That's the most important part. Literally simple, right? Why is this guy still talking about it? But this is how simple it is. You paste it in. You go here, you save, and guess what you are right now? Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You are an official Doge miner. But how do we find out? How much Doge do I have? Because you're gonna be sitting there at a long time depending on what kind of GPU. And this is where the technicalities come into play with how to tune your GPU, what you're gonna end up running into some conflicts. Because if you run into where it says the kernel can't be found or some kind of error, go back to a standard edition you're going to want to go to like more of like an amd you cannot use their more newer optional it will completely tank down now if you are utilizing their standard it's like a ferrari and will basically let you glide throughout everything and i'll show you what i mean i do have some video cards that i'm going to show you exactly what you can tune into and what you're looking for with a video card in order to do mining in general is just a lot of vram so like my radeon 7s oh they have so much digital ram to throw around so they're beautiful when it comes down to mining not so much when you're trying to throw around pixels at 4k but let's go ahead and get to some really cool stuff to check out what we need to do first don't forget to hit start you're going to want to open it don't run it as administrator this is one of the reasons why i pop it up you will run into an error and i will show you what i mean by that you think that it would work when you run as administrator it just like does this thing where you press any key and it does this and then it starts duplicating over it, it gets a little sticky in the situation sometimes but if you don't run it and you run into issues just run it as regular sometimes it will have a workaround also make sure that you're checking over here sometimes you will have a protection you need to allow in order for windows to think that it's not something dangerous you'll go through your load sequence and bam you're going to end up with a really fun situation right over here as we come down to the doge miner that's starting to hit up some steam now you can see that both of these definitely are running decent but we can get a heck of a lot better mining speed when you're not streaming on the same exact rig that you're recording on. Sometimes it happens to be there. I have two GPUs, but let me show you what I'm meaning. Now you're going to have to do some aftermarket um, tuning as a situation of what your software is, if it be the adrenaline software or if it's like an EVGA. Regardless, you're just going to need a tool in order to tune that VRAM because a lot of these situational points will come down to just tuning and i'll show you some basics i mean you can go into a gpu tutorial later on but this is just your basics it's gone to very basics it's on default first and foremost turn on your fan it helps out a lot if you have multiple gpus look up above turn on that fan too it might get a little noisy what you're going to want to do also is turn up this now also you're going to want to break this link. Sometimes they will be tethered. Make sure that you're going to want to throttle down your GPU temperature. A lot of these situations under volting help out a lot, especially with a Radeon 7. Their adrenaline software is a hot mess, but if you know how to tune it, it's so good. At least I've had some nice experiences. Now with clock and overclock, you don't really need to do it too much. You might gain maybe a mega hash here and there out of it, but it's not really going to be that like big this is where you're going to want your memory clock like with my n70 ti i know i could probably squeeze out maybe a hundred more very easily on top of this now with my 2080 ti i could squeeze out a lot because it has 11 gigabytes so i'm going to go ahead and fill that up be able to utilize it now i'm going to go ahead and make sure that that link goes down because that does run a little bit more hotter and we're going to bring that down and see what that actually breeds with scores 
Now again, we booted up the software and I am still streaming directly on top of there, utilizing my CPU for the encoding. So the GPUs are running a little bit. They are doing the displays and I do have some active stuff in the background. I have like my VPN. There is some adrenaline software, which technically because I swap out my GPUs from time to time for software updates, which if you're not already subscribed, you can today for more technological updates. Now look at what we've already increased. Look at how the virtual RAM has already gone up. Our mega hash power has now increased. That's what you're going to want to do, because when it comes down to dojing down, you're going to want to make sure that you can kind of see, but it's going to be a lot of mumbo jumbo and a lot of zeros. And you want to know, well, how much doge do I actually have? This is where the fun begins and where we get towards the very tail end of this video. There is a code that you can enter in, which remember that code that you copied in order to put inside of that reference, you're gonna take that same exact code and you're gonna go to this website. This also will be linked down below for everyone. So this will be very easy in order to keep track of your doge. And you're just gonna basically click search right over here and your address directly here from this site. It's gonna do its loading thing and it's gonna tell you right now this point in time, we don't have any doge because we just started mining about 10, maybe 15 minutes and we'll update. Every payload will come directly within about roughly, give or take, you want to say about 12 to 24 hours within that situation. This is kind of nice because you can actually look at the e-hash of what you're actually contributing right now. Since we have 60 since what we're tuning while we are streaming, we are seeing that exact here. Now the current of what it's actually acclimating to, and you will see it go up and down depending on the open market of what Doge is happening. You'll get more coins as the market drops down and you're collecting as your money and less coins as they become more valuable and become rarer on the market. Hopefully this video has helped Doge down everyone, have a nice day, and good luck to us all. We're all part of a nice digital revolution that starts with us, taking a pickaxe and mining the web. Have a nice day, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.